those who are joining us live, we are in Lusaka, Zambia, where we've just been witnessing the official inauguration of President H. H. Uh, Hishilema. We saw hundreds of African leaders coming through here, paying their uh, solidarity and their respect as well. And more importantly, solidarity coming from African leaders, his friends and former friends of the struggle. We've got a very important politician as well, uh, leader of the opposition in South Africa with the DA, uh, Mr. President. <laughs> former Mr. President, uh, my man, uh, thank you so much for joining us alive right here in uh, Lusaka. No, it's my great privilege to be here and it's great to celebrate such a momentous occasion. Uh, Zambia must be proud of its efforts, the young people must be proud, and I think as Africans we celebrate what today is. Uh, the, the invitation coming from a fellow friend, uh, is, is a colleague from the trenches, uh, what is the message? How did you receive this message? What does this mean to you? You know, when... Um, Someone is, is, is as honorable and as distinguishable as HH, it's easy to become friends with him. His ambition and his dreams are, are similar in the sense that he wants a prosperous Zambia. He wants one Zambia. He wants young people to find work and he wants young people to be educated. So given all of that, today feels a fulfillment of a dream. It's a dream we share for the continent and it's only the first step. So I certainly welcome that. I think it's, a, it's exciting development. Uh, now he is in office, he is now an, a, a, a leader uh, of a country, uh, the Republic of Zambia. Uh, some people are skeptical that they usually change when they get in power. Uh, what, what, is, what are your signals towards him now moving from a former opposition party to a president? Do you feel that uh, he probably is going to be changing uh, from a former friend of the struggle to a head of state who is going to be playing solidarity, the usual solidarity with the African leaders who tend to ignore uh, opposition political parties? Well, I think first and foremost, the fact that we are here, the fact that we had audience with him is the first step. You must remember when in other countries there's a brotherhood in the African Union that looks after each other. I would hope for him and President Chakwera, as we've worked together collectively from Malawi, that they must stand strong, fight the struggle, and keep ensuring that opposition is in place. But more than anything, it's symbolic. He knows he doesn't hold power forever. Young people could sweep him out just like they swept him in. So he must always remember that he must be accountable to the people. Mr. Man, thank you so much for the time. We fully appreciate it. And as well, still we are live in Zambia. What we're going to be doing in the next few seconds is to be joined by the president of the uh, opposition in Zimbabwe, MDC Alliance uh, Advocate Nelson Shamiza, who's also here uh, with us, uh, who, has, who has been uh, invited uh, by the president of the Republic of Zambia, as well as part of the leadership that has been acknowledged uh, by his president. What we're going to be doing uh, is to quickly uh, try and join him so that we also get to hear uh, one or few words uh, from him as soon as uh, he joins us uh, live right uh, here with us in uh, Zambia. So there's, a, there's been a lot of activity uh, going on uh, as we saw many African leaders uh, that have been invited and of course um, some of these are friends, uh, former head of states and more importantly uh, these are friends uh, from the trenches, uh, specifically from the opposition uh, parties, we are seeing a bit of a strong movement, or should I say a, w a strong wind of movement in the African uh, politics, as far as African politics is concerned. Uh, we have witnessed that uh, Malawi, f former Malawi uh, opposition leader, also taking power. Now we have, we have just witnessed uh, as well a Zambian leader taking power. And uh, what we are going to be doing right now is to cross over to the pre uh, president of the opposition party in Zimbabwe, Advocate uh, Nelson uh, Chamisa, so that we also get to have uh, one or two uh, with them. Uh, we, we need to understand uh, this trajectory and as far as uh, uh, this development is concerned so that we, we get to speak with them uh, as soon as he is done with uh, uh, what, what is going on in the background where he's just holding off. Uh, but of course we are going to be with them in the next uh, few seconds. It has just become a little bit of a, a photo of your as you can see all over right here. But of course, yeah, we are just going to be doing this. Uh, so as we've just been saying, uh, thank you so much at uh, the MDC Alliance uh, President uh, advocate Nelson Chamisa. Thank you so much for having us uh, here in Zambia. Uh, you have been invited. You have been invited right here in Zambia. What does this mean uh, when the, the, now the current leader has invited you here as a guest? Well, uh, I must say that um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, this invitation is an endorsement of the alternative. Says an endorsement of the future is an endorsement of democracy. It's an endorsement of values and standards by African countries, especially Zambia taking the lead. We saw Malawi, we've been seeing South Africa, and let that set of uh, values continue, and we, we really appreciate it. 
Uh, people are skeptical. Some of some people are saying that once our former uh, li li leaders from the trenches, specifically opposition parties, once they get into power, they tend to forget uh, their friends. Do we have the same feeling or any doubt as far as the trajectory uh, that uh, President Ishilema could be taking? No, we have no doubt. In fact, we know that uh, he's a comrade, he's a democrat, and he's a standard bearer. He believes in giving alternative voices a chance. He belongs to the new breed of leaders, the new breed of leaders that is going to save this continent. And we are so optimistic, so hopeful, and we know that he has set the standard, and that standard is not going to be lowered. So we have no reason to doubt whatsoever that is going to take us to the next level. How is your relationship with uh, President Ishilema? Uh, I know he has invited you here as a special uh, guest, and, but we need to understand how is your personal relationship and your political relationship with him? Can you see? It's self-evident. Would I be here without a relationship? It's a professional one, it's a personal one, but it's also a relationship of comrades. Like-minded people want to see the future of this continent in a great manner. Thank you. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, this is what has been happening right here uh, from the Lusaka. We, we have a, uh, one person we just need to put one or three ways uh, here. So we just have him uh, joining us live, I just said. Thank you so much for the time. One or two few ways. Thank you very much. Uh, um, uh, my name is Richard Chola. I'm the Truck Driver Association of Zambia President. You know, um, we are very happy, like I said, that uh, the peace uh, which we were looking for is still in Zambia and as truck drivers for us to push the economy uh, we are waiting for this kind of moment and we applaud that the new government has got a very big task to help each and every Zambian including a truck driver who is pushing the economy and wherever we go we'll be happy and to see that we've got a new government. What, what changes are you expecting from the former president to this current president now? Uh, actually the changes I need uh, is uh, we, we, we want the new government or the new president to make sure that they count all Zambians. They give the respect they deserve and they give the love and peace. Wherever they go, they don't want to segregate about tribalism and other things. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Now we need to follow them, otherwise we're going to be lost. Let's go.